hi there and welcome to my channel uh, today we want to learn how to determine the maximum or the minimum value in a MATLAB matrix uh, and also its index all right in two ways either the in one dimensional index or two dimensional which indicates the row comma the column of where the maximum value is found and we shall be focused on the first maximum value we found we find within the matrix all right good so um to start let's first of all illustrate the concept with a simple vector which is a one-dimensional matrix all right so i'll have v to be equals to i just want to initialize any random vector let's initialize it to to 30 for example we'll say one comma let's take five values okay so as we see this vector we see we have one two three four five obviously the maximum value here will be 24 and the minimum value will be 6, all right? So the MATLAB functions which enable us to get those values is max of V for the maximum, all right? V here is the vector. Max of V, enter, gives me 24, as we can see. And then mean of V gives me 6, all right? As we can see. Now... Uh, we'll be illustrating the concepts here with one of these functions, but you should know that it is exactly the same principle for the other function, right? If you want to determine the maximum, just use max. If you want to determine the minimum, you use min, right? But it's exactly the same principle, all right? So, coming back to our V. Now, if I want to know at what position within the vector is the maximum value located, right? This 24, for example, then... I will have to be more technical about it. MATLAB gives us uh, a, a second uh, optional output, all right, for uh, the maximum value position, okay? So for that, I will need to do something like open my brackets, all right? The first output here is the value of the maximum value, okay? And then the second output will be the position where that particular maximum value is found within uh within the the vector so we'll just say equal to max of v all right so what do we get we get 24 all right and it's found a position word three of the vector one two three so it's the same principle for the minimum value all right as i was explaining in the beginning so just need to replace here by mean and if I display V again, what do we get? The minimum value is 6 and it's found at position 1, 2, 3, 4, as you can see right here. So that's simple, right? But now let's move to the case of the matrix. Let's initialize the matrix B, all right? And uh, let me just come back to, to the Randy that we wrote at 4. So I will just say B is equal to Randy. And now we just want to increase the dimension here. Let's say... If, uh, no, I don't want to use that much. Let me say 3 by uh, 4, all right? 3 by 4. So we have that, okay? So here, what do we get? The maximum value here, obviously, is, is 29, all right? So how do we get the position of the maximum value? I'll start with the one-dimensional position. The way MATLAB stores its arrays in memory is this way. It is this first, this, this. So it is column by column. All right, so it stores this column, then this column, then this column, then this column. A way of saying, if I say B of 4, for example, right, B of 4 will be 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so if I press enter, that's 23. So B of, uh, let's say 11, for example, what will be B of 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, so 11 is actually my maximum value. So using this notion, there is a way I can display all of my elements of B simply by using the double column notation right here, which shows all of the rows, all of the columns display as a vector. If I do that, all of them are displayed this way, right? So this is the way I can determine my maximum value and its index in one dimension. So what I will do is uh, I will use the same command, right? Uh, but now this will be max of B of column, right? Which is all the elements of B 
and then uh, post. Okay, so if I press enter here, it gives me 29 at position 11. So that's quite simple, right? But now we want to know the other way. I want to know the row and the column. So here, the maximum here, for example, is at row two and column and column four. For this, we have to be a little bit technical, all right? Because max does not work on matrices the same way it works on vectors. So if I say max of B, and max again in this case is interchangeable with uh, mean, all right? If I say max of B, for example, uh, what happens here? It gives me a vector, right? Not a number. You expect that you give me 29, but no, it gives me a vector, right? So what does this vector say? It gives me the maximum of the first column, which is 22, then the second column, which is 23, then the third column, which is 20, and the fourth column, which is 29. And if I use uh, the order notation to so say max of B, not max of B column, even the position is, all right, let me display B down again. Even the position here is what is a vector, which gives me the maximum position in the first column so 22 here is found at position let me try to see what i can go a little bit up 22 here is found in position one two three hence the tree here okay uh 23 which is the maximum here is found in position one of this column so it's the first item in this column and then uh, 20 is the first item in this column two is the second uh, 29 rather is the second item in this column all right so it means to get the row and the column, I have to be a little bit more technical, all right? So the way I will do that uh, is to say, um, uh, let, let, let's, let's go ahead and do this. So the first items will be all the rows, all right? It will be max rows. No, let, 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 let's just leave it like that. All the rows, okay? And if I want just those values, no, let me just leave it like that. So it will be all the rows, all right? So it will be 22, 23, da, 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 all of the maximum rows, these are them here, all right? So within all of these maximum rows, I want to get the, the maximum column, which is 29 here, all right? And the maximum column will obviously give me the number of the column. I just need to come back and index the rows here to get the number of the row, all right? So what are we going to do? We'll say for the column score, what will it be? It will be max of max, all right, of B. So in a matrix, you have to do max of max of the matrix to get the only maximum value, all right? And then the index that it gives you in that case is the number of the column where that maximum value is found, all right? So if I press enter here, what does it give me? It gives me 29, and then the column here is is four right so i can now come back to rows and then index the column four because that is where my maximum value is found okay to get the number of the row so i can say row is equal to rows of that so i will now say my maximum value is found in row two and column four all right so uh, to confirm that b is found in row two and column four Ideally, what you can do in this case is just to create a function, okay, that will do all those steps for you. You can create a function, uh, z is equal to, let's, let's say, in max, okay, uh, is equal to in max of, of a certain matrix B, all right? And then what we'll do is just to say, uh, one just the second item right just the second item where is that okay tilt tilt where are you tilt good just the second item we'll say rows okay will be equal to max of b that's the first thing okay the second one will be call call right of max of max of b and then it means our final value z right which is the index that we are looking for we can write it as a row vector okay and it will be what for the rows it will be rows of call and then for the columns it will simply be b call and that will give us 
our index all right so let's just try this function out in max yes save that okay so let's apply it on this on this b all right so come on come on come on come on come on come on why would my love do this to me now now of all moments <laughs> CLC doesn't want to work. This is short. Okay. Come on, man, la behave. Oh my god. All right. Wow. Okay, good. So we'll say in max of our vector B, and that should give us two, four, right? Second row, as we can see here, second row, and then fourth column. So I hope this tutorial was useful, all right, and uh, see you in the next tutorial. Sorry for my bad luck mess up. Bye-bye. <laughs>